Hello everybody, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series of Infectinator Survivors. Now, you might know that, of all, that on top of ending my Terraria series, the Boons Tower Defense series, I've also ended my Terraria series due to my computer getting wiped. So, while, because my computer can't yet handle Minecraft, I'm going to start with this game as a new Let's Play. If you like Infectinators, then you'll like this. Because this is a trip. This is a good tribute to the game. Basically, a battle game. Instead of infecting the people like an Infectinator, you're the one trying to fight off the infected. So, it's a much, much different perspective from the previous one. Which I kind of find cool because, because after a while it starts to get starts to get old when you're always infecting people instead of trying to fight off the infected. This puts a new twist on the series. So you gotta, so you get four guys, four people, random people, but they're police officers, some random, some random scientists, and they all have different names, but. They, but then, as you get later on, as you get further into the game, you start finding new characters, and you'll find them while you're fighting the zombies. And you, they'll seem defenseless, they'll be yelling, save me, save me. And if you can successfully, if you can successfully save them, then, then they become part of your posse. The only problem with having more people in your posse is that... Is that also the only problem with having more people in the posse? Your supplies drain faster because yes, you need to get supplies in order to keep going. Because without supplies, you pretty much lose the game. Personally, I like the guy with the axe because he's a melee guy, and he and he doesn't really you don't have to really reload him, which I find is nice because especially um. When you have, when you're really out of time, which is always good, because because these zombies are gonna get stronger. More of them are gonna come in, and soon enough bosses will be coming in, so it's gonna get worse. But anyway, the real advantage here is you can heal them. You can heal your characters if you have enough cash, which is a very which will become very important later on when your characters start getting scathed up. Because it's gonna happen inevitably, but you gotta be prepared for it. And that was the first level. That's for that episode. That was basically like a tutorial. And that was basically the tutorial. And and if you go to the missions section, you can see that there are several different areas where you can go. Here's the headquarters at the prison building. But where do we gonna wanna go? Do we wanna go to the KFC knockoff, the churches, some houses, probably a, an office building, or a hotel? Hmm, it's a great question. Let's read the gas station, because Everybody knows gas stations usually have convenience stores, so why not? It's always good to check the gas stations. You might... Ah, uh, I like how it gives you an overview. Which, it didn't before. It used to... Back, I remember it used to not give you an overview. Because, also, the zombies are... The half zombies, the cut in half ones, those are new. Yeah, those are new. Because I remember when I played this back a while back, they didn't have those kinds of zombies. They didn't have zombies that were cut in half and stuff. So it's kind of nice that they added new types of zombies. Just to make the game a little bit more varied. Which is always good to have variety. 
As long as it's a reasonable variety, not like crazy ludicrous ideas, because then that just gets really stupid. Oh, crap. I'm gonna let the police officer take it from here. I'm gonna move Michael over to fight. And there is a hard hat zombie. Basically, they're the regular zombies, except with a construction hat, and are a little bit stronger than their regular counterparts. The only thing that sucks is if you lose, if your survivors die, they they do not come back. So you gotta be, you have to be very sparing with your survivors, because when they die, they die for good. They die for good. There's no resurrection. No, oh yeah, um, when you get back to the station, I'll be alive and well. None of that crap. So you gotta really. Gotta really work hard in order to make sure that your your characters don't die. Also, you gotta pay good attention. Oh. Definitely wanna collect these boxes. Ooh, sup oh! There's the boss. Now, every now and then, there will be a boss. He doesn't have... At the moment, he currently does not have a life bar. And it's kind of unconfirmed. Oh, I gotta heal this guy. Okay. Heal Sydney and heal Mike. There we go. We can just search just one last can. That would be nice. Or not. Alright, we found six supplies. And all of our characters have leveled once. Pretty good. Must say, not too shabby. And here is the journal. Got Weaponpedia, Survivorpedia, Zombopedia. You know, just the basic stuff. Nothing really too special other than if you want to kind of see what you have encountered. And here's your squad where you can see how many people you have. You know, that good stuff. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Where should we go? Hmm. Oh, okay. Either we go. I was thinking about either we go to the warehouse or the imit the KFC impersonator. This is the main base, but anyways. Uh, I don't have a whole lot to say, other than this is a pretty new game, so that's why I still call, that's why it's still in its alpha version, which is why there aren't a whole lot of different things to do, but I can't really decide on whether to go to the KFC knockoff or the warehouse, so I'm going to do an eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You know, no, no, I suck at eeny, meeny, miny, mo, so I'm not even going to try it. Knockoff KFC. I wonder what FCK stands for. And we're gonna create a nice little kill zone. And in the meantime, we can also search for goods and move our characters up. BAM! Alright, let's move these guys up. Oh, you don't want them beating on box. Yeah, you know, I find that to be kind of a stupid name. Box. So, we gotta search these little... Gotta search these things. Because not searching the crates is kind of stupid because you can find weapons, supplies, coins, all that kind of, all nece lots of necessities that you're going to need later on in the fight against the zombies. So it's logical to just 
it's logical just to do it, just to search them for the heck of it. Ah, oh, these are going to be hard to get to. But I'm going to search this. Oh, crap. There we go. We can put some people... Oh! Don't let Fox die. Okay, yes. There is a life count. Don't worry, though. As long as we're... Oh, I told her... I commanded her to do the wrong thing. It's because that reload thing is kind of stingy. It goes kind of... It's kind of close to the... Now, I'm going to kind of use this police officer as a... As a... Uh, uh, get him, get Mike in front of him. Because Mike's the melee guy. So we don't really mind if much happens to him. Oh, come on. Get back here, you turd. Jeez, people are very skittish these days. Move up all my people. I guess we could... Start. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, that's two way garbage. It's stupid. I guess we could try to not nah, and forget about it. And that's the mission. Not too bad. You know, I would have liked it to be a little bit better. Whatever. Well, that's that should wrap it up for this episode. If you like this new series, then maybe tell me to keep me. If you like, if you want me to make the series, keep making it. Tell me so. And if you like the video after watching, maybe leave a like and comment if you feel like it, positive or negative. I really don't care. And if you want more videos, please subscribe to the channel. And as always, this has been Exterminator Gaming. Shoot farewell, hap happy gaming, and peace out.